Hey there, bike blogger here. Today we're gonna make a ice sock. Um, these are some white tights, as you can see here. Got some white tights. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut one of the legs with the scissors. All right, so just get the scissors and very simply cut one of the legs. Of course, you need some very fancy scissors to do this, so I recommend you go get the most expensive scissors you can find. Just joking. Okay, so now we're left with one sock. This is where ice socks come from. So, we just open it up, start pouring the ice in. You may not want to use your fingers, the ice is kind of cold. And this may actually take quite a while with my fingers. But basically we're just getting the ice in there. And what we'll end up doing is we'll wrap the sock around ourselves uh, once we fill it up with ice. There we go, we got just about all the ice in there. Grab that ice cube. That ice cube. All right, so. Now we got a sock full of ice. So all we got to do is just tie it off on the end here with a knot. So um, alternatively, instead of tying it off on the end, you could tie the two ends together. And I guess you could like wear it like a, um, a necklace around your neck. That'll keep you nice and cool in the summer. So maybe I'll try that. As you can see here, I just have a very simple knot on the end. Let me tie them together. Hold the camera. Do a very simple knot. Of course, we don't want it coming loose on us. There you go. And then we can just wrap this around our neck. And uh, let's go for a bike ride, see how it works. Yeah, it's like 90 Fahrenheit and very humid. So the thing to do would be to use some ice, right? You want to be nice and um, nice and cool. Well, there's a neat trick you can do. You can just grab some ice. Here's the left cup. Yeah. You can grab some ice, put it in some tights or pantyhose, and uh, and then put it around your neck or in your back or something like uh, if you wear cycling bibs or tights or whatever. You can just throw it back there. It's something some uh, professional cyclists do on, uh, on, um, on uh, you know, like races and stuff. So, I think across the street here it's nice and shaded. I don't really want to stop in the sun even though this is working pretty dang well. Go. I'm gonna go over here. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about. So here we go. Here's the ice sock. Um, I did have more ice in it, but I took some out just because it seemed to be a little excessive. Uh, it's melting fast though, um, but it's just ice inside of a uh, pantyhose basically. Um, and then I just wrap this around my neck. And uh, it works pretty dang well. Whew. It is uh, quite cold. Um, when I first looked it up or heard about it, I was like, wow, that's a great idea. Because I did a video not too long ago about um, like putting a cloth or something uh, as frogs togs or something like that uh, about a wet cloth around you that actually kept it cool for a decent amount of time the uh, 
The beautiful thing with this idea is that over time the ice melts and the nice cool water goes down your body and it feels really nice and <laughs> I still feel pretty cold actually right now. I don't feel warm at all really. It's right on my body. Um, concerns I would have though with it is uh, being right next to your body it could, I don't know, I don't know, could it cause damage to your skin or something? I don't know. That's something that require a little more research on my part. Um, I can feel the water already kind of dripping down me. So, I'm not sure how long this is going to last, this ice. But, it feels really good right now. Um, but my other concern is that... Uh, over time, uh, it'll all melt and it'll go away. But yeah, you, I guess then you can just put the uh, put the tights in your pocket or something because they're really small. But uh, what if I were to fall off my bike? So this is the disclaimer: ice cubes are hard. Um, maybe the better alternative would be like a. Uh, like a slushy or a, uh, shaved ice or something like with a snow cone because um, it would melt faster though I think greater surface area but um, if you fell off your bike with a bunch of ice cubes on your back and let's say you fell on your back that could probably be pretty bad for your spine so Although, this feels great, uh, I'm not necessarily recommending it. Um, unless someone can show me that it's not more dangerous to ride with a pack of ice on your back. Uh, I have looked at ice vests, which are kind of similar in principle, which is you put cold stuff against your body. Except those ice vests are a little different. And professional cyclists use those too. Um, it's essentially a vest with pockets. And inside the pockets you put um, like uh, these gel packs that are, uh, you know, kept in the freezer. So they're really nice and cold. And then you put them, let's go left here. Put them in the pockets and... Uh, you deal with the uh, heat that way. Take this way. There's some uh, little skate park there, skateboard park. So I've been riding my bike for uh, a little bit now, and it's still still plenty of ice on my back. It hasn't melted that fast, but if uh, go to that. if you had a um, a 30 minute bike ride or something to do. I guess it depends on how much ice you put in it though. Because I, I did have a lot of ice in it. And I took over half of the ice out. You can fit a lot of ice in a pantyhose leg. Uh, ooh, hey. you got this way. Actually, let's go this way. Yeah, the nice thing about the ice sock is, um, I can feel the ice dripping off me a little bit. It's actually dripping a little bit on my my bicycle and my phone here, so I gotta be careful. It's just water, but water is not wonderful for electronics. Um, so yeah, what I've seen some people do is they just take the ice sock and they make multiples of them out of one leg. You know, they make a bunch of little, basically little balls of ice and they can drop them down their uh, back of their jersey or in their jersey pocket, their rear pocket. Keep their uh, back warm that way. What I'm doing is I'm actually wearing it around my, uh, 
around my neck like a um, necklace. Again, like I said, I don't know if that's particularly a good idea in terms of safety. Okie dokie. Alrighty. So, yeah, it's each his own, I guess. Let's get over here. Huh? Make a left. Do not enter! Do not enter! Ugh. Nice and slow. Fourth of July is coming up. Black Lives Matter, of course. Um, bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. So, yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Yay or nay on the ice sock? Have you ever used an ice sock before? Uh, any bad experiences or really good experiences? It's what I love about it is it's such a simple solution. You know, ice and a pair of tights. I mean, you can make multiple of these ice sock things out of out of just one pair of panda heads. So anyway, we're at work now. Thanks for coming along with me on this bike ride to work today. My uh, my shirt's all wet because of the the ice sock I got on here, but it's keeping me nice and cool. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Nerd -er 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 -er.